Happy birthday, Nate. Um, sorry about the casual attire. I wasn't expecting to do this today. I wrote this a long time ago, but um, I'm just going to read it to you because I'm not good at impromptu like you are. All right, Nate, Nathan, Nate. We have had so many memories, I don't even know where to start. We always felt like a badass around you because you were more adventurous and worldly than we were. For example, walking to the candy store all together and in one trip, you taught Chris how to pee Frankenstein and your names at the same time under a train trestle. Um, on the same trip, you tried to teach us how to derail a train with a penny. We sat next to the tracks and waited until the next train came. And when it did, we ran down the hill, fearing for our lives in case it worked, resulting in poison ivy or impetigo, and probably dropped all the candy that we bought. Um, you took us to a fireworks show at your neighbor's house. I think it was at Nick's or Nick's, which we almost got blown up by an M80. You taught us how to dumpster dive at construction sites to get firewood for our bonfires and nags hut. And in the same trip, how to stand outside of 7-Eleven to get someone to buy us beer as we watched from afar. All that said, in our adult lives, you have shown, lived, and proved what had been inside of you all along. Your love for your family, for your friends, Let's not forget shoppers. Um, and hell, just any stranger that will give you their ear. You, your generosity and thoughtful gestures do not go unnoticed. You honored and memorialized your mother and my father in a way that is indescribable. You and Anne then continue to treat my mom like a queen. The phone calls, the hosting, she and Linda, and if I'm not counting, you've replaced a flag twice since my dad's passing. Not to mention the burial flag that you gifted to our family in a beautiful display case. Nathan Pine, happy 50th birthday. You add sunshine to those around you, and I love you for so many reasons. Enjoy your day in one of our favorite places in the world, OBX. I love you, Leslie.